Hi scholars, today we're going to be talking about how to add a two-digit number with a one-digit number. But in order to do that, we're first going to go through a couple of exercises just so we understand how we're getting our numbers to begin with. Okay, so let's start out with counting how many apples we see here. All right, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have twelve apples here. So I'm going to represent twelve by writing this number right here. This tells me that I have one ten and two ones. One ten and two ones. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take this group of pairs here and I'm going to put them together with the group of apples that I have. Let's count how many pairs I have. One, two, three, four. So I have four pairs. So I'm going to use this number to represent how many pairs I have. Now I did say that I wanted to put together this group of apples and this group of pairs so I'm going to use the math sign that tells us to put things together which is the addition sign or the plus sign. Okay, so I'm going to begin by writing 12 plus 4. Now I want to figure out the answer and I want to make a number sentence. So I'm going to use an equal sign and because I don't yet know the answer I'm going to put a question mark. So now our number sentence becomes 12 plus 4 equals question mark. So this is our number sentence. Okay. Now looking at 12, we see that there is one 10, as we can see represented right here with this one in the tens place, and I have two ones left over. So I'm going to represent that with a number bond. I'm going to say that 12 is made up of 1, 10, and 2, 1's. Okay? Now that I've done that, I'm now going to add the 4. But where am I going to add the 4? Am I going to add the 4 to the 10's? Or am I going to add the 4 to the 1's? Well, 4 represents 4 1's. So I'm going to add 4 to this 2. That will make my new number bond would looking like this. 2 plus 4 equals 2 plus 4. Let's see. Um, I know that when I'm adding I can take the higher number and start with that first and count on from that higher number. So I'm going to start with 4 and count on 2 more, 5, 6. So 2 plus 4 equals 6. So this part became 6, and I didn't touch this part of the number bond. So that's now 10. Now 10 and 6 make what? 10 and 6 make 16. Okay? And then I now know how many apples I have along with pears. I have 16 apples and pears or 16 pieces of fruit. Okay? Now what I did, so you can see the actual reason why I added the 2 and the 4, is I already have a group of 10 right here. So I'm going to take these extra ones and I'm going to put them together with the pears. And when I do that, I now have these ones right here. How many, how many ones do I have? Well, I have four, five, six. And that's why two plus four made six. And I still had this group of 10 over here, and that's how I got this 10 right there. Now 10 and six more is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's how I knew that 10 and six made 16. Now, how do you represent this in terms of uh, a number sentence? Well, our original number sentence was 12 plus 4 equals. 
That's what we originally started out with. I then said that we can look at 12 plus 4 and see that there is one 10 and two ones. So I'm going to write one 10 and two ones and four more ones. And you can see how we got this. 10 plus 2 plus 4 right there. Okay? Now, we're going to add up the ones first. What's 2 plus 4? 6. So now this becomes 2 plus 6. So I'm using my equal sign to show that all of these are the same as the other. I'm just doing some addition along the way or breaking it down. And what is 10 plus 6? 6? 16. So when you're adding a two-digit number with a one-digit number, you're going to want to add up the ones first and break up your two-digit number into how many tens you have and how many ones you have. Let's practice. It says add 13 and 4. So if I add 13 and 4, I'm looking at 13 and 4 and I'm noticing that there is one ten and three ones. Next step is to add up your ones. So 3 plus 4 equals 7 and then 10 and 7 make 17. So 13 plus 4 equals 17. Let's use our, our one-digit facts to figure out um, to help us. So we have 5 plus 4 equals 9. That's a fact. Now we have 15 plus 4 equals what? Well, I'm looking at 15 and 4. I notice that 15 is a two-digit number, one digit, two digits. And I notice that 4 is a one-digit number, one digit. So I'm going to break up my two-digit number into how many tens and how many ones. In this case, 15 has one ten, one ten, and five ones. Okay, now I'm going to add up my ones, five and four. Five and four, I know, make nine, and ten and nine make nineteen. So 15 plus four equals 19. What is 5 plus 14? I have 5 plus 14. I'm going to break up my two-digit number into how many tens. I have 1, 10, and 4 ones. I'm going to add up my ones first. 5 and 10? No, 5 and 4. Yes, 5 and 4. Okay, 5 and 4 make 9, as I know up here, and 10 and 9 make 19. So as you can see, 15 plus 4 and 5 plus 14 equal the same number, 19. Let's see if you can do this one on your own. Pause the video, and once you've finished, check back to see if the answer is correct. Okay, we know that 2 plus 8 equals 10. I'm going to look at my 12 plus 8 equals blank, and I'm going to break up my two-digit number into how many tens and how many ones. I have one ten and two ones. I'm going to add up my ones. I know that two and eight make ten. Ten and ten make twenty. I have one ten and another ten. Next, I have two plus eighteen. I'm going to break up my two-digit number into one, ten, and eight ones. Next, I am going to add up my ones. In fact, you know what? Just so it makes better sense, I'm going to write the order of my numbers so that the ones are next to each other. So I had ten and eight. I'm going to write eight and ten. Okay? Two and eight make 10, and 10, and 10 make 20. And that's why 2 plus 18 equals 20. Hope you enjoyed, and if you have any questions, please write them down or ask them in class.